Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's so wonderful. Actually, it's highly emotional for me to see and be with you. As most of you know, I think by now, I'm John Levy. And I usually say I'm privileged to serve as the 10th chair of the board of the Legal Services Corporation. Today, I feel especially blessed to be able to say so. It's a very big deal, our golden anniversary. 50 years of service to the American people and the quintessentially American ideal of equal justice for all. And getting to a milestone of this significance represents the hard work and dedication, often not easy, of over the years. And it is a real thrill for me, for all of us really, to mark this milestone in part by once again hosting the executive directors from our 131 grantees, the leaders in the field and heroes of our work. Two years ago, many of you attended our three-day executive director conference here in Washington, the first such gathering in 14 years. It brought boundless enthusiasm and great insight to that event. But today, you are joined also by your board chairs. It's the first time, to my knowledge, that the executive directors and board chairs from all of LSC's grantees across the nation have been in the same room at the very same time. We are also we're also privileged to be joined by members of our Leaders' Council, our Emerging Leaders' Council, two extremely important national or auxiliary groups we established about eight years ago in support of our efforts. I hope many selfies will be taken. <laughs> I know many of you spent the morning at meetings on Capitol Hill. We're following up this afternoon, tomorrow morning, with programming designed for you, and we even arranged for a solar eclipse. <laughs> of course, at this lunch, we're so fortunate to have with us LSE's second board chair, the extraordinary Secretary Hillary Clinton, and the man... and the man her husband appointed to that position in 1993, Douglas Eakley. But before, before we get to that, I am here speaking on behalf of our LSC board. They have been working so hard on your behalf, and today seven of them are in the room, and I want to introduce them to you our Vice Chair, Father Pius Petrick, who teaches pontifical, at the Pontifical University of St. Thomas in Rome. Robert Gray, <laughs> President of the Leadership Council on Legal Diversity. John Malcolm, Vice President of the Institute for Constitutional Government at the Heritage Foundation. Lori Mikva, Clinical Assistant Professor at Northwestern Pritzker School of Law. Frank Nooner, Founder and Managing Partner of Nooner Pate in Louisiana. Julie Reskin, Co-Executive Director of the Colorado Cross Disability Coalition and Gloria Valencia Weber. Gloria. Professor Emerita at the University of New Mexico School of Law. We are honored also to have the ninth chair of the Legal Services Corporation, Frank Strickland. Where, where are you, Frank? Here, there you are. Now, if, under Frank's board, 
the, the term justice gap was, was, uh, was established, and I know we use it all the time. And I see some prior board members from LSC. Tom Smagel, who is actually the longest serving LSC board member, founded the Friends of Legal Services, a group that, in addition to LSC's building, has done so much to support special LSC initiatives. Bucky Askew. A me former member of our board, a member of the Friends Board, teaches at Georgia State Law School, and a former board member, Harry Carell, a partner at Davis Wright, here from Seattle. And Matt, and Matt Keenan. Matt, are you in the room? Yeah, you are. He left our board last year to become one of you, the executive director of Kansas Legal Services. So here we are, and LSC today continues to advance numerous initiatives, research efforts designed to make the delivery of legal services across the country more efficient and effective. Just two months ago, we convened our 24th Annual Innovations in Tech Conference in Charlotte. More than 700 technologists, legal aid advocates, court personnel, other professionals for programming, showcase technology projects, and tools that are improving access to civil legal services for low-income Americans. And in conjunction with that conference, we launched our third technology summit with 50 experts in the field exploring the implications of the rapid advancements in technology as they positively impact the delivery of civil legal services. And of course, LSC continues its important technology initiative grants program, fostering such technology, technological in innovation, assisting our grantees all across the country. And since its inception in 2000, LSC has awarded 892 grants, totaling more than $86 million to all of our grantees. And through its Pro Bono Innovation Fund, awards, LSC also seeks to help improve the delivery of pro bono services. Since that fund's establishment in 2014, we have awarded 139 grants of over $40 million. And since Hurricane Sandy in 2013, we have provided more than $96 million in special disaster funding. The rural summer, yes. The rural summer legal corps, a partnership with Equal Justice Works, continues to place law students in many of your organizations to spend their summers working to help address the legal needs of rural America, uh, rural communities. And since 2016, we have placed more than 200 law students in rural communities in 42 states and territories. Well, LSC continues, <laughs> LSC continues to expand its Office of Training and Technical Assistance, we just launched two years ago, to help you provide the necessary training for staff and board members, and to help you with managing legal services technology, and strategic planning. We've always been committed to supporting your efforts in the field to expand access to justice, and we will look to do so in new ways as we mark our 50th anniversary with a national outreach campaign we are calling Protecting the Promise. During this campaign, we will seek to raise greater awareness of the importance of access to justice and the gravity of the crisis that now exists for low-income Americans, help support our grantees all across the country, 
and educate and recruit new voices from many sectors of our society to advocate for civil legal aid. We're already working closely with you, developing op-eds, videos, social media, and we're coordinating public events so that LSC's 50th isn't just marked here in Washington. It's marked across our entire nation. You will hear more. You'll hear more about this throughout the day and the year, but our campaign and partnership with all of our grantees and other organizations, well, you all care deeply about the issue of access to justice because you know and we know the stakes are so very high. So this week and this year, as we celebrate LSC's 50th anniversary, we are also celebrating the vital work of our grantees, the sacrifices you are all making to keep faith with our country's founding mission of providing equal access to justice. Ten years ago, in this very hotel, as we commemorated LSE's 40th anniversary, Justice Antonin Scalia spoke a truth that still powerfully resonates today, and I quote the late great Justice. We salute the lawyers who have dedicated their lives to providing legal services to those who would not secure them otherwise. We know the sacrifices they have made in salary, and we salute their dedication and professionalism in carrying out their vital duties with little fanfare. This commemoration is, the justice went on, as much as anything else, a commemoration of the commitment and hard work of lawyers who do the work of the corporation. Well, if he were here, he would be saluting you today, too. And today, we extend our deep appreciation and profound thanks for all of your determined, undaunted efforts. Together, we will work to protect our democracy and to make the promise of equal justice a lived reality for all. Thank you very much. <laughs>